that's how it got started. So that go back again to thinking of, I've always had to think of myself as a second, not best person. No, I'm talking about in, in, in the society, second class. Because if you were black and you sang the blues, it was like being black twice. I see. You're already black, and then your people, your own people put you down because you're a blues singer. That means your education is limited. And, and most times you can't read or write. And my opinion of what they thought and think of me today, as every blues singer should be a person, if you will, set him where he's faced north. Uh, with a cap on his head that's faced east and he got a jug of liquor on the west side west of him and his pants was tore in the south part and he had a cigarette hanging on his lip somewhat on the northeast side of his mouth and he can't read or write. He don't speak very well. I fit a lot of us, but that's what most people think, and they think you never do get out of it. It's sort of like some societies. If your dad was a carpenter, you become a carpenter, and your children and so on. Well, that's the way they look at us. Even today, I still get that feeling in a lot of areas, a lot of places. And I think a lot of the young black people still think that way, and it, it reminds them of slavery. Which is something they don't want to discuss. They don't, want to, they don't even want to discuss it, nor do they want to admit that it once were. Yes. And the thing that bothers me a bit, it was. It was. And I personally, this B.B. King thinking, I personally believe that it's not a country on God's great planet here. It's not a country that haven't had some of the dirty clothes in their closets. Mm 